The Chamber of Mineral Exporters was formed to all related companies together and advance the country's mineral industry and do more value addition in Sri Lanka. The primary goal of the Chamber of Mineral Exporters is to convert the mineral industry into a major foreign exchange earner to promote foreign investments and work with the public sector to prepare proper policies with regard to minerals. Vice Chairman of the Chamber of Mineral Exporters elaborated on the issues faced by the mineral industry in Sri Lanka. Companies that are involved in minerals processing right now bring in a substantial amount of foreign revenue into the country. We have a lot more potential. Land rights used tend to supersede the mineral rights, whereas in most other countries it is the other way around. Uh, yes, Sri Lanka also has the necessary framework in place, but unfortunately it is not implemented in the best possible manner. Then we would also like to ask the authorities to ensure that there is a proper survey of the mineral resources done for whole of Sri Lanka. There is no proper accredited laboratory right now in Sri Lanka which can do the necessary testing to qualify a raw material for different application needs. See, a mineral company has to deal with a minimum of eight different government agencies for us to function on a day-to-day -day basis. You can imagine how difficult it is to go and deal with one government agency because no, no, no investor is going to come and invest in a country where the permits and the licenses are only valid for one year. I would also like to call out the government to look at the best practices that are there globally and let's try and adopt those.